mm-hmm. and that's what it's basically about over here. So with with that said, uh, with that said, and with the comment that was that was you know that kind of touched you the wrong way, you know I you know like I said I can see both sides of it. I can see the fact that it don't it it don't have nothing to do with trucking, but then on the other side, it's just that him being fucking funny about it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've seen both. And then sides. you know that you know that they do you know that um somebody was found dead in their truck. Mm. Today is February twenty four. Their truck had been parked at the truck stop since January the fourth. Oh my god. And they just got found? And they just found them today. Oh now that's a post on Black Truck Drivers website that I read. Oh my God. <laughs> so Yeah, again, he said that he Again, said that he smelled. He said he smelled something fire, but he said truck stops always stink. But he said what made him call the police is he saw blood leaking from his from his truck from the tractor. Oh my god! The now man see, had been dead over a month. Over. See now, this is back to January fourth to February twenty fourth. Oh my god! So this is back to mental health, man. Yep, back to mental health. This this is called um, somebody called. Date girl transportation. I guess she must be the owner operator or something. But yeah, she said she was the one that called the police. She was just like, she said that we need to check on each other more because mental health is real. And you know what? And that's the problem out here. That's the problem out here. Not all of us is checking on one another. All of us, you know what all of us is trying to do? We're, we're, we all, we, we all in competition with each other. We right. all we we all in competition. Whether it's but for what though? Everybody getting the same damn money is green. Mm. It's the same money, and then money ain't gonna even matter in about the next ten years anyway. Uh-uh. A pack of chicken is thirty freaking dollars, dude. I want to be a vegetarian. <laughs> A pack of chicken is thirty dollars, and they got a war going on in Ukraine. What you think gonna happen? You you say that chicken is expensive, huh? Man, Man. I, I wish I would pay thirty damn dollars for a pack of chicken. Absolutely not. If you're hungry enough, you're gonna pay for it. God damn it, man! Listen, I would eat, I would eat freaking ground turkey all day before I pay third off for a pack of chicken. Listen, I eat ground turkey and hot dogs. <laughs> listen, man. I mean, you know, again with mental health and trucking, and a lot of people not, you know, not talking about it. The, and this these, happened in Florida too. These young people that's getting influenced by these so-called TikTok truckers, you know. Come on in, do this, do that. Come on in and all like that. But they're not telling, they they're not telling them what, what they just showing just the sunshine and rainbows. You need to show the dark clouds and rainy days too. Exactly. Yeah. And then she also said that a dark driver did a welfare check on her after twenty four hours of her being at the truck stop. And she said she appreciate that, but she said she guess she should have checked the truck driver next to her. Mm. But we really need to start looking out for each other. So because the, if I'm doing the 34 and you see me one time come out of that truck in 34 hours, you need to be knocking on my door if we're doing the same 34. Mm. I ain't seen you come out. You all right? You good? Ooh, you know, you ain't been to the bathroom. Sure. You ain't had no food to eat. You, you all right? What's going on? For sure. You know what I'm saying? I but then again, I could be that. so exhausted. I could be so exhausted that I'm just sleeping for twelve hours straight. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't see me come out of the truck, knock on the window and see if I'm alive. Mm. You know, none of that is going on. This man been dead for over a month. A month. LaShawn. A month. Over a month. And they and then she said they got security walking around the parking lot. So after thirty four hours, if you ain't seen this truck move, you need to be knocking on the window trying to figure out what's going on. Cause we do thirty four hour resets at truck stops. Everybody knows that. All the employees working these truck stops know we either gonna do a ten hour break or a thirty four hour reset. If the truck ain't moved after thirty four hours, you ain't seen nobody come out of the truck after thirty four hours. You got security circling around, knock on the damn door. I don't get it. I don't know. So he did they? So after she, uh, 
called the cops and and the cops came and they removed him. Did they? Was there any? Was there any foul play? Was it natural? Did he? No, you, she you, didn't. She didn't say. She didn't say. I mean, you did. You did say she noticed it was blood right there. So could it been? Could have been suicide. I don't know. She said a smile, a foul smell, and blood coming from the truck. I was like, wow. 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 Yeah. I guess she's just saying that maybe it might have been something mental going on with the truck driver. You know what I'm saying? And see this, and and over here with the camera culture, everybody likes. And to, she said that when she left and came back, the same truck was there. Because you know we visit the same truck stops over and over again. She said she called because she smelled something. Since, since Monday, but she said truck stops always stink. So she said she walked to the back. She walked back to see. She saw leaking blood. She said she'll never forget that image mm. coming from the truck. That's, you on that website? That's that's why it's always that's why it always pay to be vigilant. Keep your head on the swivel. Notice yeah. notice your surroundings. It was no, awful, man. If if you see or notice something out of the ordinary, don't just pull out your phone. Go and right. go, go go and check on it. If it's a safety issue, go and go and pull out your phone and call the cops or go into the store and let them know. Hey, um, that truck. Over I sent there. it to you. I sent it to you on um, Messenger because she got the comments off. Mm. I can imagine so you why. So read the post. Yeah, because there's going to be too many comments. I don't blame her. One person commented and she turned the comments off. She 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 erased the comment that was posted mm -hmm. and she turned off the comments on the post. <sighs> so man, that was gonna probably be too much for her to even deal with. So I don't blame her. That's crazy, man. Yeah, it's all and, and 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 that's the side of trucking that nobody ain't talking about. Yep. Everybody wanna be Everybody want to listen to listen. Everybody want to be backing up, not looking at the mirrors and shit. Uh, we ain't going to talk about that video. <laughs>